Hey YouTube, what's going on here? It's Will here, it is August 3rd, and I'm just gonna do a writing vlog here. This is kind of, I guess you could say, like my first full writing session this week. Um, on Tuesday, I had my friend's wedding. I was one of his groomsmen. On Monday, I was part of the rehearsal party, so I really didn't have enough time. Tuesday, of course, was the wedding, so it was pretty big. Uh, event always busy the whole time I was busy pretty much we were all busy in fact uh, getting getting ready rehearsing and um, it was pretty fun uh, the groom he's he is a big wrestling fan so um, for privacy's sake I'm not gonna put any photos of it but just to give you an idea he his entrance was inspired by uh, the wrestler Roman Reigns so it was pretty fun he even had a title belt and all with it so uh, so it was pretty awesome and then like everybody was cheering about it everyone said it was like a badass entrance so that was awesome to see that was great to be a part of I was truly honored to be a uh, part of not only his special day but also being part of the the groom's party or bridal party I don't know they every time they kept saying bridal party I always thought they were talking about just like the bridesmaids or bridesmaid and bridesmen um, there were a couple of um, men who were who were part of the bridal shower in that case so but every time they said for bridal showers me and the groomsmen thought we they were just talking about the um, bride's party but in fact I guess they were talking about us too um, anyways, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, just because of, I guess, how crazy it was, we had, like, some adrenaline dump, and then we were just, like, wiped out from it, like, literally, I think Wednesday, Thursday, as well, we were, I was still pretty much wiped out, uh, and then, like, Friday, I was feeling better, but I honestly wasn't, um, in the right headspace to write, on with that being said, I guess you could consider that the first full writing session here. Um, but so it's going to be kind of interesting how to get back in the swing of things here. Uh, as I'm starting writing, I've kind of figured out what my writing routine or uh, system is. And as far as I could figure out is I am kind of built on that, on momentum. So basically, uh, my my writing routine is built on not only momentum but also consistency as well um, just to kind of get the ball rolling as writers we all know that writing is a very difficult task um, try and get back in the swing of things here but before I do that I'm about to go head to the gym get a workout in I, again this is pro this is my first like actual workout uh, this week so it, it's gonna be kind of interesting I'm probably gonna take it easy uh, maybe not easy hopefully easier than I'm used to just make sure my body's feeling okay uh, m maybe go a little bit lighter on the weights kind of just focusing on getting a good sweat in here and there um, as a writer I do feel it is very important to keep your uh, health in check we for most of the time uh, you are sitting down maybe you do got a standing desk uh, like myself which is great um, but most time you are kind of stationary, so definitely get the body moving, um, whether it's through like lifting weights, running, cardio, other form of exercise, is definitely uh, beneficial to writing. I feel like, or any creative endeavors, the stronger your body is, the more you're able to do, um, it, whether it's um, physical activity or something like mental as mentally draining as writing or some creative endeavor uh it makes your body and mind more resilient i feel like um after the workout i'll go into my writing routine uh it may be a little bit different um just because it's i'm just trying to get back into swing of things and um uh, try against uh build that habit build that momentum just like that that's about it for right now i'll catch you guys in a bit peace all right guys it's me again it's been a couple hours here i uh, just worked i worked out my legs and did some abs and some stairmaster here 
and I was able to get a protein shake and then right now I am eating some uh, tonkatsu noodles. It's not the restaurant style, it is the instant ramen in a bowl kind of style. Maybe not the healthiest after workout, but you know, it was something I was craving. And one thing I was I kind of like to mention is my personal tip is not to do any writing on an empty stomach, you know. Um, there's some people who like to fast while they're writing, or um, some people think that what they're able to be more productive or be more creative while they're fasting, and that's entirely fine. But for my personal thing, it's I prefer rather um, being on a full stomach. Um, not entirely that where I'm almost sleeping, like Thanksgiving and stuff, but enough that I'm satisfied here. So. Th that being said, I'm gonna get to writing here, and yep, let's get to it. Um, so, sorry, so I had to close the curtain in my room. Uh, I just turned on the AC because it is getting hot in here again. Um, again, California, for some reason, it's just getting hot like crazy here. And like I said before, this is gonna be my first full writing session um, this week. Uh, even it's Saturday, so I guess you know, the end of the week. I'm just starting um, a new full writing session, and um, something to kind of get me back on track is just writing a book here. You guys probably seen it before, uh, Spy X Family, you know. And also, if you can see here, uh, see Spy Spy Family shirt. Obviously, I'm a big fan. Um, I did get this at Box Lunch, not a sponsor or anything, but I do love Box Lunch merch. So I'm just going to be writing in here, uh, to kind of get my uh, brain flow, get my um, momentum going, my mojo going, whatever you want to say. And then that way, um, I find it that when I'm I, writing with a pen, pen to paper, I it sort of just gets me going in a way. Kind of, I kind of take it like the like a warm up, you know. And then hopefully, and then by that. Uh, kind of jog my ideas a bit and then get straight to outlining. got done writing um, here kind of just like brainstorming a new scene um, this, this scene not necessarily related to the origin saga outline I have read right now it's entirely like a background story to another character I have here again like I said before this uh, project is kind of like a monstrosity um, Maybe not something I would suggest other writers writing for their um, debut novel. And I don't even think that I would be doing this kind of story. The reason I am writing a story like this is because it's just been with, with me ever since I can remember. Um, and then it's been growing and growing ever since. Uh, plot lines are getting more complex than I would like to be. Uh, that being said, you don't necessarily need to pick up where you have to left off. Um, I personally think you could s s kind of s start out somewhere else. Um, you, like for example, I'm writing this different scene for another character. Maybe you could start a world building or uh, writing a character background or um, writing out the political structure or the magic systems, stuff of that nature. I think, again, with this kind of world building um, monstrosity project that I have here, I honestly think that as long as you're working on a project in some way, shape, or form, you are doing some kind of work here. Uh, 
especially with high fantasy where I feel like as an author you need to do some sort of world building some sort of lore and history it's just all part of the uh, creative structure as an author uh, who's writing high fantasy I do feel like the world building the background stories of all the characters does attribute to the main story so I do think that is very important and I do feel like that's working on the uh, work in project the whip in some way shape or form there and with that little short explanation there I'm gonna get back on writing this time I'm gonna just type start typing on my laptop here and see where the magic takes me I just got finished writing about 500 words, a little over 500. I believe it was 532, um, which is great for me. Um, I do like to break it up. Um, I really can't do the same thing like writing an outline for so long or writing a prose for so long. Um, for some reason, I think I do kind of get a little a little, I don't know if bored is the right word, or sometimes I feel like um, my skills at the other other style of writing kind of diminishes. I don't know if you want to call outlining a style of writing, but I liked about writing this little story here is I'm also trying to figure out what the personalities of these characters are. So I think because this is like a high fantasy um, setting, uh, sometimes it's not as easy to run, to figure out what the characters are like, what their hobbies are kind of thing, because it is a different setting. Um, that's on me. I need to do a little bit more research on that, figure out what's going on there. Being a sh sort of prose like this, of a short story on this, leads me down the right path of what to look for and what things I need to work on here. I'm hoping further along the lines I figure out a way to balance out outlining and also writing these little, little stories here. Sometimes they're not really stories, maybe scenes in the novel that I want to put in the future. Um, I feel like that way it is a it kind of breaks down the monotony of the either outlining or writing um, or writing in general but also kind of makes it feel like I'm able to break down the project a little bit smaller, uh, do little bits here and there. Um, in theory, I guess it would make the project more manageable, but that's something I gotta wait and see. Um, uh, obviously I wish I could just outline all of it and then write it all straight across, um, but unfortunately that's not how my brain works or how I work. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's a little bit frustrating, but also I also feel like it kind of gives me that creative freedom as well. Um, not to be boggled down so much by one thing that I know I have like a thousand things to do. For example, when I'm writing this outline here, I know I gotta research this, I know I have to structure stuff like this, um, add a little features here of towns, the background, the setting of um, where the scene is taking place. So I believe maybe in the future, I'm crossing my fingers here, um, perhaps I'll split time between outlining, writing stories, and then also perhaps making notes on how uh, the backgrounds and settings are for this case. I think after taking that kind of long break from uh, from outlining, from writing my story here and there, I think with that, um, it helped me kind of understand that there's a lot of things I need to work on. Can't unfortunately focus on one particular thing, like I said before, 
maybe I could break it down to outlining one day, uh, writing a short passage another day, and then making notes on what what settings or um, places I want to visit, how are they integral with the stories and stuff like that. <laughs> a lot of things to consider as I'm writing this book, but um, that's the exciting part and maybe also scary, but also exciting as well here. Um, and hopefully in the future videos, I will be able to share more on how I'm able to figure out what settings I want, uh, the inspirations behind uh, certain places or certain events of the story here. Anyways, um, that's about it for today. Uh, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do like this video, uh, please leave a like and subscribe below here. And until next time, happy writing.